Welcome to the show. Jack Scalfani here, and you're cooking with Jack. And this is the episode you've been waiting for. You've been asking, or should I say you've been nagging. It's the most requested product review show. It's called The Magic Bullet. So we're going to take a look at that in a moment. But first, there's some things happening to the show I want to, I want to bring you up on. Number one, the show's coming out with a new channel. It's called Jack on the Go. It's still food related, okay? So you're still going to get all that yumminess, but you're going to be with me on the go. I got the brand new iPod Nano, which does the video and all that. It's really cool. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm editing some video right now of my trip on getting all this stuff. So you'll be able to switch on over there after this, okay? Go on over there and subscribe, because if you go and subscribe to Jack on the Go channel, I'm going to be giving somebody a free uh, thing of sauce, of my barbecue sauce. So go over there, subscribe, and I'll randomly be picking somebody to win the sauce, and I'll contact you if you're the winner, okay? What's the other thing? we got some other things going on. Oh, yeah, I'm also preparing for my Thanksgiving side dish episode, all right? So if you have any suggestions for a Thanksgiving side dish, throw me an email, all right, and let me know what you like for Thanksgiving or what's your favorite side dish, and then I'll consider it for the show. We're going to do one or two, we're probably going to do two, two side dishes. So give me your suggestions before I lock in what I'm going to do. And let's see, what else we got here? Uh, the new channel, Thanksgiving side dishes. Uh, oh, yeah, viewer mail. We're going to do viewer mail at the end of the show. We're moving it to the end. And there's one reason why we're doing this. A lot of you watch this show for cooking tips and product reviews, not to watch me read emails. But for those of you who do like the viewer mail uh, slot, we're moving it to the end of the show. So I'll be doing viewer mail at the end of this episode. All right? Now, let's do it. Let's review the magic bullet. All right, before we do the omelet, let's take a quick look at the infomercial and see how they made the omelet. Any chance of getting a real breakfast? How about an omelet? I'll just take a couple eggs. How many you want? Uh, two. I'll take two. Two is good. Okay. And then some, what next? Some I ham. Great. Tomato. Tomato. Okay. How about that? Okay. Some onion. Onion. Ooh, and cheese. Everything then, right? Okay, you want yes, everything. everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I understand. Okay. We'll just pop this on. Now watch. I'm chopping the ham and veggies, grating the cheese, and whipping the eggs all in three seconds. The machine that just made those smoothies for Berman and Fred will make an omelet for you, I. Ooh. Now that you've seen how they did it, let's grab it and make our own. What's really cool about this is, this has little legs so it doesn't fall over while you're trying to put your eggs in there. Two eggs, right? That's right. The guy wanted everything in his, remember? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna give him just what he asked for. Two eggs, one tomato, thing of cheese, thing of ham, and let's put in a little bit of onion. Put in some onion there, there, and there. Okay? Look good? Gotta close that up. Ooh. It's all there. Looks just like the video. Cool. Let's see if it does exactly like she did, okay? There's your breakfast right there. So I'm gonna put it on. Okay, and she did it for three, two counts of three. So we're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. And that's what she did. And that was it. So let's cook that up and I'll bring her right back and we'll take a look and see how it, how it looks. You're watching the Cooking with Jack show. We'll be right back right after this message. Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here to tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's so good, we made a hot one. There it is. If that's not good enough, we made the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. Bam! And to make it even better, we just released the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Go to thebestsauces.com, 100% guarantee. We do free shipping anywhere in the United States. Go to thebestsauces.com. I'll be there waiting for you. And now, back to the Cooking with Jack show. Here's what I want to show you, okay? This isn't even done cooking inside yet. This has been hard to cook. I know I'm burning the bottom of this already, so I'm taking it out now. But I mean, it's not even fully cooked on the inside. It doesn't cook well. So I'm gonna roll this out. I guarantee we've already burnt the outside. And look, it's runny on the inside and burnt on the outside. Look at that, look at that. It doesn't even cook well. Unbelievable. That's too bad, because it blended really well. All right. I consider that a fail. I don't like that at all. This is what I do just before the big game. Throw about five or six cherry tomatoes in there. They're the ones I like because they've got all the flavor. A little bit of garlic, 
a little bit of jalapeno, throw in an onion, a little bit of cilantro. Don't forget the blade just takes a second to put on. And watch this. And in one, two, three seconds is all it takes. And are you ready? Look at that. Delicious sauce, you guys ready to eat. We're gonna add tomatoes, thing of garlic, ta-da. Little bit of onions. In fact, I'll, I'll help it along. I'm gonna break this in half so there's no, no complaining that I use too big of a size of onion. We're gonna do jalapeno, and we're gonna do a little bit of, break off some of this cilantro. Put a little cilantro in there, okay? Now, I expect this one to pass. This is going to be an incredible salsa. If this works, that might be worth it for me. Here we go. And he did it for three seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, and there it is. Hmm. Doesn't look like his, does it? Exact same ingredients. All right, let's take a look. Wow. Why doesn't that look the same? I don't get it. I use the exact same stuff she did. And look, or he did, really. Look, there's even garlic in there that's not even broken up. Let's see what that is before I go tasting this. This looks nasty. We're going to show you what it looks like. <sighs> Come on, look at that. It doesn't even look like... It didn't even mix it well. All right, so let me try this out. See what it tastes like. It smells good. Looks nasty. <laughs> really hot. That was a lot of jalapeno in there. Mm. <laughs> oh man. Woo. Okay. Wasn't ready for that. It tastes nasty. All it tastes is jalapeno, tomato, and cilantro. The garlic is in a chunk here. Didn't even make it throughout the whole salsa. This is a fail. This is just nasty looking. Okay, I'm a little upset because I was about ready to do the melted cheese in the microwave in this with the jalapeno in it and pour it over chips. But I want to see if this thing even works. So I'm going to do exactly what they recommended. We're going we're gonna to dice our garlic in this, okay? Let's see if this thing even works for just simple garlic. One, two, three. Well, that looked like the infomercial. Okay, that is how it should look. Garlic worked, we're just going for it. Stick some onion in there, break off the root part of it, put it right in there and see what it does. Three. Don't even, there we go. Hold on a minute. I don't know what happened, but let's take a look. That was weird. Okay, see that? Yeah, that looks good, but it's not. Look at this. Can't even cut up an onion. Look, whole pieces fail. Okay, last test, here we go. We're gonna do cheese. Take cheese right here, okay? I'm putting one in there, one in there. I'm not cutting anything up anymore. Throw in a piece of jalapeno. We're gonna hit that. I can't even get it to chop up the other cheese. Come on. And I don't like the fact that as soon as you touch it, it locks itself. Really touchy. Ah, I'm totally frustrated. Look at this mess. All right, look, it can't even cut the cheese up. You know what, I'm not even gonna do it. I'm not even gonna make this. Wow, that's all I can say. I've never been so frustrated on an episode as I am today. That is the biggest piece of garbage, the magic bullet. Don't, don't even look at it. Are you looking at it? Nope. It gets no more attention. That's it, no more. Don't buy it, 
I'm not buying it. In fact, I'm giving this one back to my dad. I'm glad I stole it from him because I don't even want that. I would have been upset if I spent 60 bucks on that. And don't even get me started on shipping. That's a whole nother topic. We will talk about that in another episode. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. How can I calm down? It's time for viewer mail. Yeah, let's do viewer mail. I'm always happy when I'm reading your guys' emails. Who do we have here? Zoranthos. Zoranthos, thanks for writing. He says that he just stumbled upon my videos. They're interesting, informative, and entertaining. Thanks, man. Uh, he's telling me about the marinade when I put the chicken in the water and then the seasoning. He's explaining how come the chicken opened up and it, the flavor went all through the chicken. He says that the salt from the marinade is pulling out the moisture of the meat, leaving the pores of the meat wide open. And then the seasoned water can work its way back in. The chicken was delicious. I don't know what he, I mean, I know what he's talking about. All I know it was good eating and I'm in a better mood already. Thank you, Zoranthos. I appreciate it. Keep the emails coming. Check me out on Twitter. Check me out on Facebook. And we got more product reviews coming, hopefully better than this. What is it called again? All right, we'll talk to you later. See you on the next episode.